Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to learn about how to create resources mailbox and shared mailboxes. So please subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and learning Exchange Server 2016. So let's get started. Now we are on our Exchange Server and let's have a look on Active Directory first. I have created a new OU by the name of training and right now there is no user inside it so we are going to create a room mailbox first let's sign into our exchange admin center and here in the recipient section you can see the resources and right now we don't have any resources mailbox created so let's create a new room mailbox and I'll give the name as a training room and the same thing with the alias and I'll put this inside a training organization unit which I have created just now this is an organization unit and basically this is for uh, reserving a room like uh, if someone want to take a training for a room he can um, create a meeting request and if the request is accepted for that time that means a person can go for the training in a training room and if the request is rejected that means someone else is already booked that room for at that period of time so location I say Delhi phone number it's optional and the capacity of a room for example it's a 40 users can come inside it. and go to the more option I'll select the database where to keep this mailbox right now we have a default one so I'll select the default and let's click on save so the training room resource mailbox has been created by the name of training room at the rate techiejack.com and if you see the active directory right now there is no user if I go ahead and refresh it you see the training room is a user here and if you see a arrow sign a down arrow sign here it means that it is disabled now let's go ahead and create a, another mailbox for a equipment mailbox the room mailbox is for a location like uh, it's a location specific but the equipment mailbox is not a, a location specific it's a, a reservation for a equipment you can say it like a reservation of a equipment like you want to reserve your uh, portable computer or microphone or any other resources of a company you want to reserve so you can create this equipment mailbox and once the meeting request is created and you can reserve that equipment at that time if the re request is accepted at that time you can use that equipment and if the request is rejected that means the equipment is used by some other person at that point of time so let's suppose we create it for a microphone we want to reserve a microphone and organization unit I'll put it inside the training as well and the database okay right now we don't have an address book policy so leave it and click on save now you can see we have a training room and microphone both the mailbox has been created one mailbox type is room and other is equipment I have shown you the difference between room mailbox and equipment mailbox in a previous video but still you can see like training room is for a training purpose like it's a location specific and the equipment mailbox is for uh, reserving a 
equipment by creating a meeting request. We will see that how to create a meeting request in a later videos. If we see the properties of this training room mailbox, you can see these features here. Like you can see the feature like general, the name and capacity, the database and the organization unit and the booking delegation means like the user who can accept or decline the booking you can just uh, add the user to delegate the permission who can uh, accept the request and who can decline the request I'm not adding these now and you have a booking option here like how many uh, days like uh, how many days before you can book your reservation and for how much duration and if you want some custom message here you can type the message here contact information or some something like basic information email addresses like training room at techiejack.com and mailbox delegation if you want uh, someone to delegate this mailbox you can assign a permission of a send as on behalf or as a full access as well so same kind of properties uh, we do also have for the equipment mailbox as well like you can see all the general option booking delegates booking option contact information the email address mail tip uh, mail tip is something like you want to display a message like whenever someone send a email to this user they will be there will be a message displayed like you can say uh, please respond within a two business days or anything you want and the same thing is here the mailbox delegation so let's go and now uh, try to create a shared mailbox uh, we have discussed about the mailbox group resources contacts and now we are creating a shared mailbox so in order to create a shared mailbox you can just click on plus sign and I'll put the display name as a customer service and this is a mailbox like you want to share with multiple users so that you may not miss the mail which is coming to this mailbox you want a multiple user to respond to this mail that means uh, this particular email will do not have a username and password but it will be assigned to some users like there are four users in a customer service team and you assign this mailbox to a user A, B and C so that means whenever the email comes to the customer service they will receive that if uh, two are not present there still the other two will uh, get that email and they can respond to that email and they can just log into their email uh, their mailbox and inside their mailbox they will have the option for this mailbox as well and they can reply and they can receive email on behalf of this email address so alias I will just put the same alias as a customer service and we'll put it inside the sales organization unit and here you want to add the user I will add the user who were inside the sales that means I think the Raj was there and Laura was there I think so Raj and Laura are inside it so they both will receive emails and they can send emails for this customer service department and again the database we want to keep in a default database and we'll click on save now you can see the email address has been created as customer service at techiejack.com when the Raj will log on to his mailbox and the William will also uh, log on to his mailbox they will also see a new mailbox that is a customer service and they can receive and reply for this email address so guys we have covered our recipient types and in our next video we will be logging to the mailboxes for these users and we will be sending emails to the users and we will see the mail flow so guys stay tuned 
and do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and let's meet in a next video.